What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to another question dealing with the remainder and factor theorem. So we're told 5x minus two is a factor of this polynomial, f of x equals 5x cubed minus 17x squared plus mx plus 56. We have to find the remainder when f of x is gonna be divided by x plus two. So notice that in this particular polynomial that we're working with, notice that there's this unknown value m over here. And ultimately what we got to do is find the remainder when that polynomial is divided by x plus 2. Now by the remainder theorem, if we take any polynomial in general and divide it by x plus 2, as we've shown in previous videos, we know that the remainder of that is going to equal f of negative 2 right, by the remainder theorem. If we take any polynomial f of x divided by x plus two, the remainder is always gonna be f of negative two if we plug in negative two for all the x values. But notice we can't do that right away because of this unknown value. We're gonna get an expression in terms of m if we do that. And what we want is an actual number as the final answer. So what we first have to do is actually solve for that m value and we can use the information that five x minus two is a factor of that polynomial because by the factor theorem if 5x minus 2 is a factor of this so uh, let's write this out yeah so if we take 5x or let's write it out as a sentence so since 5x minus 2 is a factor of f of x, that means when we take f of x and divide it by 5x minus 2, the remainder is going to equal 0. Right? Whenever you take a polynomial divided by a factor, the remainder is going to be 0. So this is with the factor theorem. And then also with the remainder theorem, if we take any polynomial, and divide it by 5x minus 2, the remainder is equal to f of 2 over 5, right? Isolating for that x value in that divisor. And so this is the remainder theorem. This here is the factor theorem. So we can combine them and we can end up saying since the remainder is equal to zero, but the remainder is also equal to this, we could say f of two over five is equal to zero, right? So we're combining them. And so now with that statement, we can create an equation where we solve for the m value. So what we can do is plug in two over five, for all the x values. So just be careful because we're working with fractions here. And then we have m times two over five, so that would give us two over five m plus 56. So all of this here is this left side, that's f of two over five. So that's the remainder when f of x is divided by five x minus two. And because five x minus two is a factor, we know that that remainder has to equal zero. And so from here now, notice we have an equation and we have one unknown. We have that m value, that's unknown. So from here is just algebra, just be careful because we're dealing with fractions here. Two over five to the power of three is like two to the power of three, which is eight, five to the power of three, which is 125, minus 17, two to the power of two is four, five to the power of two is 25, plus this here, I'm just gonna combine to be two m over five, and then we'll have plus 56 is equal to zero, like that. Now from here, five goes into 125 uh, 25 times. And so we would end up with, uh, let's actually write it over here. So we'd end up with eight over 25, right? That's what this would be. Or you could take five multiplied by the eight, you'd end up with 40 over 125, which would simplify to eight 
over 25. And then we're gonna have minus 17 times four over 25. So 17 times four is 68. One times 25 is 25 plus 2m over five plus 56. And that's gonna be zero like that. Now from here, what's nice is notice that we have common denominators here. So let's just simplify those. Eight minus 68 would give us negative 60, right? Yeah, over 25 plus 2m over five plus 56 is equal to zero. This actually simple, uh, simplifies. We could divide negative 60 by five, 25 by five. So that'll be negative 12 over five plus two M over five plus 56 is equal to zero. And from here, different things you could do. You can maybe net out these two, bring them, bring all the numbers to one side. What I'm actually going to do at this point is multiply everything by five to get rid of the fractions. You don't necessarily have to do that, but that's what I'm going to do. So just make sure you multiply everything by the same thing. What you do to one side, you got to do to the other. The fives cancel out, so we'd end up with negative 12 plus fives cancel out, 2m. 5 times 56 would give us what? 280. And then 5 times 0 is just 0 over here. And so we'd end up with 2m. I'm going to leave this on the left side. Bring the 280 and the negative 12 over. So we'd have negative 280 plus 12 like that. And so let's continue over here. We'll have 2m equals two, uh, negative 280 plus 12, that would give us negative 268, divide by two, so m is equal to negative 134, right? So that's the first step. So we solved for the m value using that factor of 5x minus two, right? So f of two over five equals zero, solve for the m value with that equation. So now, since we have the m value, what well, we actually have the full polynomial now, so let's rewrite that. We got 5x cubed minus 17x squared minus 134x plus 56, like that. And now we can finally find the remainder when this polynomial is divided by x plus 2. As we mentioned at the beginning, very simple. We just have to find what f of negative 2 is. So if f of x is this, then f of negative 2 we just plug in negative two for all the x values. Like that, so we'd end up with what? Five times negative two to the power of three is negative eight. Uh, negative 17 times four. Negative 134 times negative two is positive 268 plus 56, so we'd end up with negative 40 minus 68 plus 268 plus 56, like that. These two, uh, they net out nicely to 200, right? 268 minus 68 is 200, and then negative 40 and positive 56, those net out to positive 16. So the final answer is 260. And that is the final answer to this question. All right, so two steps. We had to first use this factor to solve for the m value. Once we had the m value, then we could find the remainder when that polynomial is divided by x plus two using the remainder theorem. So we found what f of negative two is. It ends up being 260.